Hey, group, cool it over there. This is your pal, Blue Lardy, from the Blue Lardy Show, telling you to watch RCW, Rubber City Wrestling. It's real wrestling, not that puppy stuff. Oh, my day. And welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lieb, the former two-time. Well, how many champion. times is that? World Heavyweight Champion. How many times? Yes, a deuce. Uh, not one, but two. Nobody oh. likes that. Yeah, that's what. That's and what, with me as always. That's what she said. Go only ahead. the people at the nursing home like that. Heh. So that's that's your feedback. Heh. Right. Heh. And with me as always. He is the king of attention deficit disorder. The he world's the... oldest 14-year-old. Yeah. Exactly. Somebody said that this week. I won't say uh, yeah, I heard It you're... was probably you. Yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, Sicilian Beast, Ken Sermonera. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. You going to cut me off a lot today? Hell Why? yeah! This must be a bad week for you. What's going on, man? Hey, you know what I think? Thanksgiving just ended. You know who I talked to last night? Dr. Vinnie Boom Bros. No, Miles. Miles Jacobs? Yeah, he goes, I don't think you're cutting him off enough, Beast. Oh, I said, up. give me some lessons, Miles. Okay, go ahead. I hope I get Hey, did I ever tell you about the... Just kidding. Go ahead. I need my paperweight. It might come in handy in a minute. <laughs> when I give you your shiner. Shiner. Yeah, so what's up with this? This Shiner, is shiner Beer. Shiner beer. Yeah, Bach. Shiner, Shiner beer. beer. It's going to be a dark kind of beer. Yeah. Well, great, you great for this it. time of year. The fact that you already poured it tells me that you had a pretty rough Thanksgiving. Oh, I'll tell you it was rough, you know. All right. Well, things have passed. Let's take it. Oh, I forgot to go like, like Big Ben does. Might have to do another one. I actually like it. It's good. It's good. It's good stuff, Maynard. Oh, man. Maynard likes it. He likes it. All right. Do you really need to do that? No, Ben does it. Oh, well, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to. I mean, I don't understand what that doesn't that does. mean it's not. Can a... I tell you something? It doesn't change the flavor one bit. It still tastes the same as it did and the doing first that time when I just drank obnoxious. it. obnoxious. I don't know. I don't Hmm. Pretty good stuff, though. Um, but that's not it. That's not it. What? There's something in the bag that neither one of us have known. It's yeah. been actually stuck in this bag, and it's been hermetically sealed in that bag since yesterday at noon on Funkin' Wagner's porch. Exactly. Nobody knows the contents of that bag. Exactly. All right, here we go. Oh, your favorite. Gobble, gobble. Yes. Okay. So Good that's, stuff. That's your that's your Thanksgiving shot. Did, right did I ever there. tell you about this one girlfriend I had? Now nah, she's a wild turkey. She, she would do anything for a ball of this. I swear. Go ahead. All right. I'm afraid to find out. But anyway, we got a good show coming up for you today. So, uh, real quick, I just want everybody to know we're gonna run down a couple more matches on Twas the Fight Before Christmas. I've already started my Christmas cheer with my. First ugly sweater, which I don't think is ugly at all. It's Darth Vader and a couple of his, Please, couple of his please come out. Back. December 17th, to Akron Turner Club, where you'll get to see my two champions. Lose their belts. Probably not, but go ahead. All right, anyway, we're going to go ahead, get this thing open, and take a commercial break. But when we come back, we will discuss, Twas the Fight Before Christmas 3. And we're see gonna, you in two minutes? In two, two seconds. seconds. Okay. 
Rubber City Wrestling presents Twas the Fight Before Christmas 3, Saturday, December 17th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. This event features eight incredible matches, three title matches, a dog collar match, and for the first time ever, your role model versus the spotlight, one-on-one. -on -one. Tickets are on sale now, so get them while you can. And parents, be sure to register your kids because Santa will be in the building. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Do you need something hauled away? Are you looking to scrap that old washer and dryer? Whether you're moving, doing some spring cleaning, or just need something taken away, Fuller's Cleanout is the way to go. Contact them by phone at 234-716-9651 or on Twitter at FCO the way to go. If the stuff has to go, Call FCO. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Uh, Beast, um, got it already poured. Right. Wild, turkey. Wild turkey. You took the tall glasses, of course. Um, of course, our, our uh, producer, Andrew, would like some. So now he's getting some. I'm not taking a shot without pouring it into some Coca-Cola. Sorry, but I just am about the flavor, not about the buzz. All right. There is somebody's phone going off or something in the background. It sounds like a washer or dryer. They didn't get the memo. Turn off they all cell phones they and did not. enter the building. Right. That's a pretty neat ringtone, though. Yeah, that's cute. Cute. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so with the wild turkey, we will give it a shot. Right. Salute. Here's to you. Boom, boom. And that, <sighs> gotta do that. That officially ends Thanksgiving. Um, we're being interrupted. You got a thing over there? <laughs> yeah, she's got, here. Let me see it. We'll, we'll open this on the air. So, what the, what the hell is it? Apparently, my wife was gifted something, and it's it's old. It's old. But she said she got it for me, and I guess since this is our first official Christmas. E show. We got Santa in the background. Might as well open a pre gift. And it is an old fishing rod. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks nice. It's got a tackle box in it. I'm a, I, I love fishing, so. Show the folks at this, home, John. This will never. It's an it's a antique fishing rod, actually. So, uh. Show it off. Hold show on, it off. Pick it up. Sorry. Look at that. Cameraman's over here telling me, pick it up, pick it up. And I'm like, ignoring him because I'm too busy looking at it. So that's pretty dope. What are you, 14? Yes, sir. All right. I'll be 14. Let me put this back in here. I'm trying to. Okay, yeah, good. She can do it. Did you want a? Did you want a a Shiner Bach beer? Wife. Do you want a Shiner Bach beer? It's pretty good. Here, grab her one. There. The middle one. Yes. Yeah. Right. Thank yeah. you. There you go. All right. Give it a try. It's actually not bad. He made it at his house. Andrew did. I'm joking. It tastes like beer. It's actually a beer. It smells like a yeast infection. She <laughs> said it smells like a yeast infection. I heard it. it. Smells like a beast infection? Is that uh, what you said? A beast saying? infection. You don't want one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I have to work with a vaginal beast infection. <laughs> you like it? Okay. She don't drink it. All right. All right. And if you like that, we got wild turkey afterwards. It's a nice way to wash it down. Anyway, now that we've completely gone off subject and just rolled with it. Um, December 17th, Twas the Fight Before Christmas 3. That's right. Now, on that card, there will be two... I hate that I had to do that. He hated it, but he still does it, huh? I had to do it. They made me. Yeah, right. Okay. Two tag team matches. 
Good. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about this a little bit a couple weeks ago, but like now we're going to get into more detail about it. On um, what's making them, um, you eating an Altoid right here on the air? Yeah, sure. I'll take one too, then why not? It says Uncle. Why the heck does it say Uncle? Uncle! Someone? Nope. Okay. Anyway. So you said Uncle. Uncle, right? Yeah. That's what she said. Go ahead. Why? What were you doing to her? Use her. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway. So, one of the tag matches is the Paradigm, which is Joe Zook and Kenny Collins. What's wrong with Joe Zook? I thought you loved that guy back in the day. Like back in the day. He turned he turned Jag off on me. What am I going to do? What are you talking about? He turned Jag off. Jag off to Jag off. I don't He's a good guy. You probably like him. You probably like him. Yeah, I think he. I think he turned for the better. That's your opinion. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know what they say in Europe, but yeah, I guess if that's what they like, I guess they agree with me. Opinions are like a holes. Everybody has one. Right. Well, you said it's your opinion, yeah. and my opinion. Right. Hey, that 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 melts. And then Kenny better. Kenny Call good stuff, man. Kenny Collins is there. Yeah, you know his mom. I'm very good friends with his mom, and she says, Mr. Beast, please, talk to that boy. He's getting a big head. I said, I'll try to get through to the kids. No, so far, no good, but I'll keep trying. She thanked me. I don't, I don't believe you. you don't, I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth. I think you make these stories up just because you like to humor yourself. Okay. Marcus Knight said you carried his badge when he was a kid. Probably not. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so Paradigm will be facing I don't even know why this is a tag team. This shouldn't even this shouldn't even count. The Hawaiian Lions, which I and you've got a good wrestler there, and his name ain't Draven Post. <laughs> How did I know you were gonna say that? It would be Lionheart. Mm -hmm. Lionheart's a damn good wrestler. Then right. you got a little troll of a man. A troll. I just don't like him, okay? There's just something about that Draven that I don't like. Um, the fact that he locked me in a cage and screwed me out of a win. An easy win, by the way, against He doesn't Lionheart. like me, Dad. He doesn't like me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm talking to myself, Dad. <sighs> anyway. You know how it is with me. Everybody has to have their own gimmick. Yes. Yes. The one and guy's a jag off. The other guy's a nice kid, but he's going down the wrong path. The other one just likes to talk to himself, Dad. That's all. Okay, well, what's Lionheart's gimmick for you, then? I haven't come up with it yet, and I'll let you know if I do, but he's a good wrestler. That's all. He's a good worker. He's a there, hey, there was this guy that used to work in Southern Ohio, and he, and he had a speech impediment, right? And you know what he used to say? He, was, he didn't Excuse say that. He, say, he used to say, how you going to be a good worker if you can't work? Makes all sense of the world. But Lionheart, he's a good worker. I know a guy speaking of the fishing rod. He also had a speech impediment, although he referred to it as a speech in peppermint. And he once said... What did he say? What did he say? We wanted to go fishing in this pond, right? But yeah. we, it was a private par property. So he went to that place, and he literally walked, knocked on the door, had all the balls. We were too scared to go out and knock on that door. This guy had beers all, huh? Oh, yeah. He had he had a big, what you, gigantic brass balls. Big he gazing. He's okay. like, assume me. I mean my friend to fit in the pond. And they let us. <laughs> and they just let you do that. Right. I figure if you're going to tell us a story that made no sense and was kind of offensive, I might as well do it too. You're no better than me. Then. One day I yeah. asked him if he liked... Uh, Get out! I said, shit or chicken pot pie. He said, shit and pot pie. I said, no, you can't have both. It's either shit or chicken pot pie. And he's like, I oh, know, I said shit and pot pie. And I said, yeah, no, but you're not allowed to mix them together. It's either one or the other. He's like, I said shit and pot pie, dummy. And I'm like, okay, never mind. not getting the question. And I left it alone. You know, this is great. This is a refreshing change of pace. Is that being a bully? No. Listen, this is a refreshing change of pace. And I'm going to tell you why. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. For once, you're making me laugh. Instead of the other way around. Huh? This is different. This is a role reversal, fans. 
So you laugh at me being mean to a person with a speech impediment? A peppermint? I'm just laughing at you, period, with peppermint or whatever. Right. Okay. Hey, but the, the question still exists. And I only have one question. I'd still be and you know what that what question is? Would be. You know what the question is? What? How are you going to be a good worker? You can't work. Okay? All right. That's it. You're rude. Anyway, so I guess what you're, what he's trying to say is he has nothing he wants to say about this match whatsoever. I do. I but, do. I do. Oh, well, then tell us by all good. This people. one is good. Go this one. <laughs> can you repeat that again? Go Wooker. <laughs> now, you going to be good. Wooker. Yeah, Wooker. I said today's. We are getting canceled today. Because of you. That's my goal in life. So anyway. Anyway. You got me started. How was I? You got me started. And then I. Mm, we're 10 minutes already in. Okay, we that, no, no. Anything. The one thing I must say about the Peregrine and, and the Lion. Para what? Peregrine. Peregrine. Whatever the hell you want to call. And the Lion Lion. And the guy that talks to himself. The, one thing about them. The Oko Woko. <laughs> you're about to make our live studio audience laugh well you're going to make one of them laugh and then our producers the over here our Pitch. producers over here are like career suicide kids I'm pulling the, I'm pulling the plug on both of you alright listen now, now that we uh Oh, by the way, I had to throw that career suicide thingy because I'm I can't remember, but the bad part is, I cannot remember the guy's name who used to say, Are oh, you going to be good work or you can't work? I can't think of his name. It's because he probably couldn't pronounce his no, name. No, I got to call, I gotta call Zoltan. It. Zoltan will know. He was there when the guy said it. His name, he was a mass wrestler. I know exactly what you're talking about. His name was Shit and Popeye. Could have been. Uh, Did he go fishing in the thing? He okay. went fishing in no. the park. Okay. Fitting, he went fitting in the park. That's it. He went fitting. Okay. We're going to go to hell. They're, they're all, they're, those guys are all good. Yeah. Wrestlers. Exactly. Wrestlers. Did you see I said wrestlers? Yes. Great wrestlers. And great they wrestlers. said the other. And they both were wrestlers, by the way. So all, that's okay. all, all wrestlers. Yes. Yes. You know, it's Today, funny. Today's word of the day. Local. Okay. Not very good promos. I'll tell you that right now. Not very good promos, but they definitely could work. And that's all that matters. Good. Um. So we'll move on to the next match because apparently there's nothing to say about that match. I'll say something about that match. I like the way Joe Zook and uh, Kenny Collins have been working together, and I think these two are a fantastic team. I believe that together these guys could become World Tag Team Champions, and I think because of that, there's a good chance that these two guys are going to dominate the, the guy who talks to himself, Draven Post. He talks to horses, too. He's yeah, a horse, know, horse I whisperer. I know, I saw that too. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Lionheart. He talks to lions too, apparently. Did we, yeah. we, are we going to wing away the lion sleeps yeah. tonight? Okay. Wing a wop. A wing a wop. Yeah. No. Because you'll put the moke away. Well, he sees it wrong. He does. What did he say? Yeah, he said he'll wing a wop. And I think that's racist. That, that's, a, that's a racial towards slur. Us. Towards us. Yes. And you like him. Who are you talking about now? Anyway, next match. Okay. The uh, other other tag team match is going to be on this card. And I think we've talked about this before, but it's, you know, I mean, we're going to get in more detail again. If we even talk about it. Is, of course, the Top Guns, which is Die Hard and Mike Smiley. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Against. A good team. A little aged, but great woke of. Okay. Is that how you talk about the Mayhem Mafia? Or are you talking about the Top Guns? I just talk about the Top Guns. We get the May Mayhem Mafia, whatever. Okay, against representing the way, Max Cortez, the Latin Nightmare. Josh Cortez, the Latin Destroyer. The Mayhem Latin Mafia. Destroyer. This is going to be amazing. And of course, they have the Queen of Mean herself standing in their corner, and that would be Miss Felony. Dude, I'm telling you right now, Die Hard. And Mike Smiley are finally going to get retired. You keep promising that. I don't know. You know I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe Top Gun. Do you realize the Top Guns debuted in 2004? That's how old this tag team really is. They what? They did what? They debuted in 2004. See, I, did, I debuted in 1804. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, I debuted in 1884. Okay. 
Yeah. No, I mean, this. what I'm trying to get at is, it's it's time that this tag team's won a couple belts. Yay. They're obviously Are you trying to tell up. me they're two-time champions? Yeah. You know why they're two-time champions? Because obviously... Because they're, they're good workers. Okay. Yeah. You're so bad. <sighs> I want to apologize to my relatives with speech impediments out there or speech impediments if you want to call it that um i think it catches on it's a good word Pepperman. they uh especially you know with, with uh christmas coming up okay but anyway i want to apologize to all you people out there on behalf of both myself and the sicilian beast of course on these part it probably is more sincere um with that being said you have a gnat flying what the hell face. is that yeah, what it is is it's God's way of punishing you. He's getting good here. Anyway, what do you think of this match? I think I'm gonna tell you right now what I think of it. I think the next tag team champion, yes, I said it, because the winner of this gets a tag team title match. The next tag team champions, the Mayhem Mafia, are gonna dominate. 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 I, I will make one prediction. What? There will be blood. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and take a commercial break since we rattled on for so long. But when we come back, we're going to go ahead and take your questions. Rubber City Wrestling presents Twas the Fight Before Christmas 3, Saturday, December 17th at the Akron Turtle Club in Talmadge, Ohio. This event features eight incredible matches, three title matches, a dog collar match, and for the first time ever, your role model versus the spotlight, one-on-one. -on -one. Tickets are on sale now, so get them while you can. And parents, be sure to register your kids because Santa will be in the building. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline Vinny DiMaggio? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous, nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle? You can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, we're here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at Facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Well, fans, it's that time of the show again. You've got questions? We got answers. Now, if you'd like for us to answer your question on the air, feel free to write us at twitter.com forward slash wrestling rubber. <laughs> that is so lame. I'm sorry. I just love that you hate it. I, I, okay, so what? What's this now? You put wild turkey and nerds in the air? Wild turkey and nerds. Try that out. Tell me. Let All me right, know well, what you think. Are they supposed to dissolve or what? Eventually, they're going to. Okay. Well, so will your right. liver. Okay, go ahead. Well, then I'll try it when it's yeah. over. Okay, so will my liver. Is that what you just <laughs> That's said? That's what I just said. Uh, Madonna Maria. Madonna Maria. All right. Okay. Isn't that a high school up in Cleveland? No, that's what Donna Maria Junior High that's School. That's what my grandma used to say every time I would get on her bad side. All right. Apparently, she would be praying to the Madonna herself, the Mother Mary. Mother, Mother Mary, Mary, that's all she's saying. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go with the questions now. Yes. All right. Oh, by the way, you didn't even tell me. Do you like my? You like? My, it's nice. Star Wars, man. Everybody yeah. knows I'm a Star Wars fanatic. That's it. That's it. Anyway. Oh my. Jar Jar Binks, go ahead. Right. No. Yeah. No. No. I know Jar Jar Jar. Uh, Jar Jar. Jar Jar was literally put in there for the children. Remember, we bring our kids to these shows. Jar Jar. I know a guy that walked like Jar Jar. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Did he ask if he was a good walker? How you going to be a good walker? You can't walk. Okay? All right. All right. Very good. <sighs> Next. All right. Oh, wait. We haven't even gone with the first one. Number yet. one. Hey, All right. Over here. <laughs> I already got my answer. But you can go first if you want. What is your funniest moment in wrestling? This comes from Shandy Post, Wyndham, Ohio, that hotbed of pro wrestling. Go ahead. You already have it. Okay, so anyway, I'm working this match, and there was a guy named Billy Berger. 
and I take him off the ropes. I go down, I'm going to give him a backdrop. I give him a backdrop, he takes a big bump. Boom, like Excuse that. Excuse me. It made a noise like that. All right. So what happens? He hits the mat. He shits his pants. There was no escaping it. I knew what happened. He knew what happened. Did you pin him right then and there, I hope? Well, I went to pick him up. I realized exactly what I thought. My worst fear had come true. He indeed did soil the place. I said, guess what? This one's going home. I took him off. Boom! Give him a roundhouse. One. Two. Three. Ding, ding. Ring the bell, Angie. I Look, got the heck out of there. Listen, instead of getting your spot in, I would have told him to just lay there and take the pin off the back body drop. Tell everybody if they ask you, you got the wind knocked out of you from it. It's over. I am not doing anything with Mr. Poopy Pants the rest of the match. Ah. Sorry. Oh, I you, later uh, you would not believe the jokes we had later about it. Oh, I bet you did. Oh, I bought a, I bought him a pair of little underoos for kids. I go here, Billy. You're a big kid now. Yeah, that <laughs> happened. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and no. you would have to believe, be there to believe it. I have a few jokes myself that I would have given to him, but it depends on yeah. how good his sense of humor. Is. I don't think they were invented yet, then. Mm. Okay, I get you. I get you. I'm sure they were though. <laughs> so, what was your funniest moment? Well, you know what? I will say this: I did have that happen, but it didn't happen to me. I was actually out there with a partner, and it happened to him. So I know of the situation you're talking to, and my exact words were. Take it home, you know. Let's go it's home, Bruce. It's time, it's time to end this little shindig. Yeah. You've got to go to the bathroom. Uh, never happened to me. Thank God. You better never believe it. Never happened in one of my matches. Thank God. Because I have a weak stomach. And I might have yacked on the dude. And it would have been funnier. Right, right. And I wouldn't have cared. You got it. Be like, hey, you can't hold yours and I won't hold mine in either. And I'll just have it come out of a different... Different, uh... Oh. Anyway, so, uh, funny, funniest thing, okay, yeah. funniest thing, I would have to say it was, I actually made myself laugh in a match once. That's how, that happens. happens. I know. Okay, so, we were in a match, we had a female referee, good, good girl, good girl. Anyway, so, um, I'm in a, I'm in a finisher, and it hurts like a mother effer, you know what I'm saying? And he just got, got it cranked on, and so she's like, do you want to give up? And I'm like, well, yeah, I do. But if I do, I'll lose the match. And so all of a sudden, she starts laughing. And then he starts laughing. Which makes me start laughing because they're laughing. But I'm in a freaking hole that's hurting at the same time. And then what happens? And then she goes, do you want to tap? And I'm like, I mean, that's a little creepy because, you know, I'm married and my you, wife knows you. You want to tap that? All right. Right, 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 right. And now all of a sudden they both start laughing to the point where he loses his move and I'm able to get out of it and reverse it. So it was funny and it worked at the same time. Nice. So, I, I kind of like that. That's good. You know, I mean, it was like, it, and it was a really weird story because I've never, I've never been able to get out of a person's finishing hold. By making him and the referee laugh. Maybe never before, never again, but you did it never once. Never before, never again. But it did happen. Good. Next question. All right. Was that the was that the funny question? That was the funny. Because I know that you were reading those earlier, but you won't let me see them. And said, oh, one of these are funny. One's the other funny. One's one's, controversial. This, yeah, controversial we have. And we have just, this is a regular mundane question coming up. All right. This one comes from Trey... Mad Set from Kent, Ohio. I haven't seen that name on here. Okay, Trey, how are you? I'm glad you watch the show. Thank you. All right. What's The Rock's best movie? Ooh. The Rundown. Rundown. Okay. Rundown makes me laugh like crazy. Okay. I don't care. There's like, I'm laughing through the whole thing. You know, and it also has to do with Stifler. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't even know dude's real name. Has He has like 17 uh, names in his name, so I'll just call him Stifler. Stifler and Rock. That's it. Easy to remember. Um, yeah, that movie there, I would suggest... Hey, that stuff works. Any of you that have uh, not seen that movie, def like, find it. Hopefully it's on Netflix or Tubi or something. Tubi? You need to watch it. Okay. You. 
All right, the best one. I I tell you which one I like. I like when he did the the uh, remake of Walking Tall, where he played Sheriff Buford. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Buford Buford Pusser. Excuse me. You gotta have to stop that. Ah, it's, it's, the hell did you eat for lunch? Wild turkey. Okay. All mm. right. Yeah. That explains it. I haven't eaten yet today. Walking Tall, where he played Sheriff Buford Pusser, who actually. The real Sheriff Buford Pusser was a buddy of mine. Listen to this. Oh, go on. The real Sheriff Pusser. Whatever Pusser. Buford P Pusser. Pisser. Pusser, whatever. A buddy of mine, That's they were cousins. And he also was a professional wrestler. Okay. And I think The Rock did that one, pulled that off one. Really? Really good. Nice. Not bad. Sounds like your uh, wild turkey hit you. You think? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, I have a real quick question before you go to the last one. Okay. So, what was your favorite movie, aside from that, that, that like, maybe, I, I do you know any movies indie wrestlers have been on? Indie wrestlers have been movie. on. Yeah, I was in a movie called The Idea Thief. Were you? I worked a bar. I were. I did a, played a part of a bar patron who got mad at a guy who was a big mouth shooting pool. Nice. I gave him a dirty look. That was it. And was for it. that, the dirty look took nineteen hours and three days. Right for five right. seconds of fame. That's exactly right. Okay, and I, you can Google that on IMB, the idea thief, Black I, Boot Productions. I was supposed okay. to be on Star Wars: Lost Horizons, but now apparently they're going to make it into a cartoon. I had a really funny part where I was actually um, the the. Isn't that what somebody said about one of your matches last a couple months ago? Well, that know. was really cartoon. Okay, go ahead. No, never heard of it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I, I, no, I, I'll go into that maybe later on, but I'm not trying to get into that. I would have to say though, the best one would be Jericho Road by uh, with um, uh, Jericho Road with uh, Chas Taylor in it. Yeah, uh, really Charles. good movie. Really good yeah, movie. Uh, I, I hope he comes. Although back. it's it's got some very strong, strong stuff, Maynard. Yeah, it's it. You, you gotta watch it. I hope Chaz comes back up here again. Oh, he will. I he enjoy will. the time. He's supposed had. to be wrestling for us. He's supposed to come back because he's got a lot of issues right now going on with him and his uh, fiance. She's had medical issues, but he's supposed to be back here in April to wrestle. I can't wait. Yep. I so, can't wait. And I just heard this. It's funny that you said that. Anyway, so go ahead. Last question. Last question. Last question. Hey, Mr. Producer, show everybody the picture at home. What picture? All right. Now, there's a question regarding this picture that our producer is showing you right of? now. Okay. Who's it a picture of? Hey, right, here we go. Our next question is from our good friend, Jimmy Thomas. Oh, jeez. Hey, Beast. I saw a picture of the role model with Sand Santa. It's true. Did he ask Santa for a new pair of shoes? It's true. I did see Santa. Did you ask for a new pair of shoes? I was shopping, and I here's a, a quick question with him. Okay. By the way, Bo thought it was Denny O. Um, they kind of look like him though. Denny O. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, but anyway, but it was Santa. Anyway, so I go up and I go. I go, you know, the kids are going to start wondering why Santa's shopping. I go, because you look a lot like him. And he goes, that's because I am him. And I'm like, well, if you are him, do you mind if I get a picture? The chances is Santa was a good woke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he gave me a picture. You got awesome. a picture? Yeah. So anyway. Did um, he autograph it? What was the question? Jesus Christ. I don't know. Wait a minute. Did you ask him for a new pair of shoes? Absolutely. There's a bunch of Kobe. There's a new Kobe's out that are. Beautiful, and I definitely. And I'm, a, I'm a shoeaholic. I don't know if you people know this, but I have probably about thirty pairs of shoes in there. Anyway, so anyway, last week with the beard. Last week with the beard, but you know what? What, what? should we do? Should we have a show where we shave? No, or should we no. I tell you why. I'm not thing. going to shave. I'm not going to do that. You're going to keep it next. My week. dear wife loves it. What? She walks up and she starts hugging and rubbing the shit. I don't know what the heck's wrong with her, but okay. So wait a minute. She likes the, the bearded look on you. Yeah. You going to dye it? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, I figured you would. I I'm know in you. denial of my age, like anybody. Else like I be. am, I am too. Right. Yes. Okay. Well, the thing, the, the difference. I'm is, only forty-eight, right? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. The difference. Is, wait a minute. No, I'm I'm twenty-eight. You're thirty-eight or something. I don't I'll know. I'll be twenty-eight. Yeah, okay. Um. Uh, like so, the difference is, uh, I don't have to dye mine yet. <laughs> I have a couple in oh, there. Oh, this is a, a, a must. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Within, S but yeah. excuse yourself. Oh yeah, excuse me. All right. Whose phone is that? It sounds like a dryer. It sounds like a dryer. I hope it's yeah. dry by now. Right. It's <coughs> trying to tell you something. Yeah. All right. It went from one that sounded like a dryer, the ding ding ling 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 ling, to another one that sounds like a dryer. What are we at? doing? The show in a laundromat? Here we are, live at laundry time. Okay. Right. Exactly. Okay. So let me try this real quick before we try go. this, you guys. This is your your going home show. It looks like it's stuck. <laughs> that that good, huh? Don't do it at home. He's selling it. And you know why he's selling it? You know why he was selling it? Because he's a good worker. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to say that again. Okay, okay. For the one show that we're going to get banned for, it's probably going to get kicked I'm off. working on it, folks. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, for, of course, the Sicilian Beast Cat Terminara, I am your role model, Rick Lee. That's disgusting, by the way. It did not work. I don't want nothing to do with it. Right. Saying, join us again next week, if we're still on the air, for another edition of RCW Spotlight. Bye, bye, bye. Could be for the last Can't time. wait to shave. Oh, I, I'm growing it. I'm growing it. I can't believe it. <laughs>